So fresh little clean. We're no Ikea today. Those are where all my books are. Plants, yes. <gasps> <gasps> I, I moved. Welcome to, I believe it's gonna be my first vlog in my place. And if you hear construction in the background now, so sorry. So, um, hello, if you're new here, um, my name is Christina. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my mind, my safe space. And if you're not new here, I love you, I love you. I will insert like quote unquote empty apartment tour. I just took out my phone real quick. It was like, people were in and out of here and I was like, let me just try and get like a little video really quick. to world market right now we're gonna read we're gonna read because all my books have been packed away literally this this is me this is me i didn't know what to do with myself well normally that's me but with a book in my hand I've been eyeballing this. It was on sale today, so I went and I snatched it. I hope you're ready. <laughs> I don't know how to turn. I'm. Um, I get. Oh! Don't look at my feet. This is going to be not the library. It's going to be the reading room. But just so you know, this will be remade. She will be reborn. It's going to be great, but I'm going to get. <laughs> just. <laughs> don't. This is what. <laughs> this is what we're working with. I am taking these shelves. If you see my videos, these were in my last place behind my couch, but oh god, that was dusty. I'm gonna be putting them in here. We're gonna do something with that. Desk, yes. Plants, yes. This is going to be my reading chair. Those are where all my books are. <laughs> she will be reborn um, into something beautiful. Oh, I don't, I don't even know where to start with here. Ah! My little Legos. Oi, oi, oi. I guess, <gasps> Benji. I do plan on doing this bathroom. Oh, if you're like, why is there, why is there a tree on this? It's because I wish it was taller. Um, and I don't, <laughs> I, I might get a pot and I might put it there. I don't know. But I will be doing a closet thingy-mabobber. And I will be doing, <gasps> bathroom, sorry. Oh, I try not to go in there. Those will all be included in other reading vlogs. I'm gonna go pick out a book. I found my Wi-Fi. Like they told me they're like, it's in unit. And I was just like, okay. And then I didn't really think about it. And I was like, I swear, like where is the box? Is it just like a smart house where it's like all around me? I found her in my closet. Okay, but my camera's about to die. But I have plenty of chargers now. See how easy that problem gets fixed. Okay, I have been waiting to read this book until I got in my new place because it's, hello, flat chair, and I was like, oh my god, let me read this in my new flat. What if your roommate was your soulmate? I love the cover. Actually, you know what? So crazy is I saw this in Barnes and Nobles. It was a, it was a while ago. It was a while ago. I just started like reading the back, and I started reading the first few pages, and I was like, oh my god, I really like this. And I was like, no. 
And then I saw it on Pinterest. And then I saw that it was Beth O'Leary. And I was like, oh my god, why didn't, why didn't I get that? I love Beth. Beth! Beth, I hear you calling. I'm gonna read this until I have my hair appointment. So fresh, so clean. I was just finishing up this other book that I was listening to. It was called Forgettable in Every Way by Jennifer Peel. And when I say some of these books, I swear, like, they're just, they're pretty mid. But damn, like, some of the men in these books, I'm like, like, why can't you exist? Like, why just, <laughs> why? It doesn't make sense to me. But this, oh my God, it's just, it's perfect. For me and my sarcastic humor. It's so, I don't know if this is a thing, but it's such specific humor. Like this very specific situation or this very specific example. I was cackling, I put in my Goodreads, which you should follow me on Goodreads. I'm cackling over here like one of Scar's hyenas. If I was to be a character, it would be one of Scar's hyenas. Hey, <laughs> wow. Also, wait, I don't, I feel like I should say this, but She's gonna be sharing like a bed with this man. But the thing is they work at different times and so they're supposed to never see each other and they're both getting out of a relationship and... Good morning, good morning everyone. Hold on, I need to find something sharp. I ordered stuff. Please don't scare me. We're going to IKEA today. I started listening. To, uh, I started listening to Daisy Darker because I, I I need to put things together. I need to get a trash can. Okay, I ordered sheets. I mean, not sheets. New new bedding, which I have to wash. of that. I got him grass pads for outside because I don't have a backyard anymore just so he can, you know. Oh no! And I also got kitchen mats because I don't know if anyone else can understand this but my feet, oh they're so sensitive to what they touch and I need, I, need, I always wear socks. Always wear socks. You will not catch me without socks. The, the touching my feet, touching like a crumb or something, oh, they immediately arch. It's like, oh! I'll put these down in a second. But these, this is this is what he he's looking for. Gross. Touch some grass. Uh, if no one's told you that today, okay. Let's put these outside. Target and get this metal 
storage thing for my closet because I don't have any, I don't have a dresser and I don't have anywhere to store like my shirts, my t-shirts and things like that. Those are the best clothes for today. Also, I got a vacuum, Swiffer, uh, and freaking read. I think most murder mysteries are overrated, Nana says. Okay, so right now I'm feeling like I need to cleanse my soul. I, I, I hate this thing. It feels like I should be done, but I'm not gonna be done. I hate this thing. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. The instructions were <laughs> wrong. determined to get this today but I'm finishing something today I'm finishing something today if I didn't already say this is for my clothes to organize my clothes So far in the book, Granny's dead. And it was so brutal. I had to shut it off. Granny was so funny. The way that she called out every single person in her family besides Daisy and Trixie as being like complete trash. Basically. Put her in their own way. Whatever catered to their personality. Oh, it was so funny how brutally brutally honest she was. I'm so happy with this. I know other people have gotten this, but I mean, it, I guess we all just have the same Pinterest. Oh, also, I think I'm gonna have to redo this. It just, I guess, I guess you can't really tell unless you're like looking at it in a certain light, but the, um, the poster itself is kind of crinkled.
dragged. I can imagine reading this. I would have DNF'd it. It drove me crazy at times because it was like just nothing was happening. I will say I did like the ending. I was looking at some people's reviews. I feel like some people actually didn't like the ending and actually some characters they liked at the beginning and then they didn't like at the end. <coughs> But I actually find the opposite. There is a connection between two characters that is so, so special. I also wanted to cry, um, but I didn't. <laughs> I was reading one of the comments and it was saying like, Alice Fleeney is very, very good at the plot twist. Like she's really, really good at them. But like the character development is what she is lacking in. And honestly, I'd agree. I'd agree. I feel like the character development isn't really present throughout the book, but the poems in this, I will say, are so creepy, but I love them. I work the night shift again. If and when my stuff in my bathroom comes in, I will organize that. But the flat shirt, I, I don't know how many times I could say like, it's so good, it's so good, because it's that good. It's that good. I'm eating it up. I just don't know how to explain how magnetic the chemistry between the two characters are, even if they don't see each other, because right now they're just writing like post-it notes to one another and they haven't actually met. Because a part of the deal with his current girlfriend is they just don't meet. I just know that girlfriend knows like in her gut that sh it's just, she's delaying the inevitable. Oh my god, bitchy, stop it! I am gonna go into my soon-to-be reading room, but I'm not gonna show anything. But no, just know that I'm I'm in there. Oh my god, it's just oh, uh, it's just so cluttered. Oh, oh, but also Tweet Cute. I guess we should talk about that. Tweet Cute is so cute. <laughs> Actually, it's so much. It's more than I thought it was going to be. And I, if that sounds, it sounds bad. Um, so sorry, but I, I had really low expectations for it. Then like other books that I was reading, they said like, if you like Tweet Cute, you'll like this. And I would really like those books. So I was like, I guess, I guess that I will like Tweet Cute. And I do, it's much more different. I feel like the, the format is really different. I don't know if that makes sense. But normally you know how in a romantic comedy, it kind of goes like, there's a play by play. I feel like this one is like right away it kind of gives like where the third act breakup would go. It's right out at the beginning. And I was like, oh, like they were bold. And I love that. I love that. Finally, someone doesn't wait till the last minute to say something. Um, so I'm, I'm very intrigued. Okay, I'm gonna go organize stuff because I woke up early. I went to bed so late. And I literally got, I got up and I went and I saw one of my friends. She was like, how are you up? How are you up right now? <coughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh. Good morning, everyone. <coughs> okay, today will be the last video. I mean, today will be the last part of this video. I swear. But I got some packages in the mail. Lesson learned. Don't do what I did at the beginning where I was like, wash your vacuum. Wash it, but just don't do what I did because I short-circuited it. I thought I was doing the right thing. It was not. So I got this dupe off of Amazon. I had a gift card. So. Here we are. I'm gonna unbox this with you guys. And I've been wanting a chair pillow for so long. Ugh. Oh, but I finished, I finished Tweet. I finished Tweet Cute. And honestly, I would so recommend this 
to anyone who is under the age of 18. It's so cute, but it's just so geared towards a younger audience. I still had so much fun listening to it because it was so cute. It was so cute. It was so sweet and it was wholesome. I really enjoyed the rivalry. If I didn't even tell you what it's about, it's about a really very, very popular burger joint and a deli, a New York deli. They're accusing this big company of stealing their best selling sandwich, the recipe for it. And you find out a lot about all of that. There's a Twitter war between both of them but it has to do with the people who are behind the Twitter accounts, the son and daughter. They go to school together, they're friends, or they, they become friends, and I hope I'm explaining this well. They don't know it's them, and they have this Twitter battle going on. Friends to lovers, they don't become enemies at all, despite like the huge rivalry, and it's just such a healthy relationship. And the communication is amazing. And it's just like how I rarely see characters who are like, I just need to be very honest with you right away. And I loved, I loved it, I loved it. Oh my god, a chair pillow for in front of my mirror. I am, oh my gosh, okay, so now with flat, flat chair. I, I love it, I'm eating it up, I'm eating it up whenever I get the chance to read. And oh my gosh, the relationship, it's just, it's just the best. It's just the best, the best, the best, the best. On top of that, this ex, you'll, you'll see, you'll know immediately who I'm talking about. Her ex, I think is an actual psychopath, which sounds like such a drastic turn of events, um, but he's crazy. But he's so subtly crazy because he's so manipulative, and so you don't really realize it until the end, and it's like, you're psychotic. You're psychotic, bro. It's just the relationship that's just so... Recently, I'm just reading so many books with really healthy relationships, like very honest, open, upfront, wanting to be there for one another relationships. Like there's not much drama between the two of them. It's more so of like, they both have very intense lives, like really huge life changes going on. His brother is in prison. <laughs> Um, and uh, you'll, you'll see what I mean, you'll see what I mean like right away, but it was just, it's so, the characters, I love them. I love it, I don't know how to explain it. See, some books that are just so good, I'm just like, I don't know how to tell you that they're so good, like I just don't know how to convince you. Please take my copy, I, I promise you won't regret it, I promise, it's just a solid read. did not mean to do that. No way. It's a baby. Oh my god. No one is going to do me a teeny tiny. Does it get bigger? Does it get bigger? Oh my god, that's really cool. Oh. Yes. It's just so. Oh my god, this has this is the coolest thing I've ever had. A fourth of the price. getting all those shelving. All of that shelving. We're not doing that again. I'm just gonna purchase books that I know I'm gonna like. And I'm only gonna keep the books I'm gonna like. Um, wait, no. I'm only gonna keep the books I like. If this isn't as washed out as it looks on my camera, Lord have mercy! Yay! Five stars. Baby claps. Oh my god, it's just like, I feel like I say the same thing over and over again. 
especially recently, I put in my Goodreads review, I am begging on my knees. I am pleading that anyone who loves love, loves romance, just loves that nostalgic, I don't know how to explain it, but you know the feeling that you get when you watch a nostalgic rom-com? You, you know the feeling? Please tell me you understand the feeling. That's how I feel reading this. Just the little things that Leon would say to her to just comfort her. It was just, it was the little things. Some things are just, oh, I don't know, no. I want to scream this to the rooftop. And I just want people to read this so bad because there's just something so special about Beth O'Leary and her writing. Just how much fun these characters are. Just be aware that there is talk of gaslighting, emotional abuse, kind of hits you out of nowhere because it's about her past relationship and she's on a, like a little self-love, self-care journey. Just just on the sidelines, just on the sidelines. I hope I'm not turning you away from reading this book because I really, really, really would love for everyone to read this book. I knew I was gonna like it, but I had no idea. And it's absolutely so funny. So, so funny. But yes, I'm gonna try and edit this monstrosity of a video right now. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. I would love to do a transformation video with this room, but I have, I have no idea what I want to do with it. I don't feel like I have a look in mind for this room. And it's really driving me absolutely bonkers. Like, I don't know color scheme. I don't know, I, don't, I just don't know. I'm pulling a ginormous blank. We're done here. Um. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will see you very, very soon. It might take me just a tad bit longer to come out with videos. Hopefully not. But yeah, I'll see you very, very soon. Bye!